Kinsey, you found anything out about the Deckers? I know a lot about the Deckers. Well, I know that, but I mean anything we can use. Tons. But you shouldn't worry about that now. Okay, then what should I... Is Shandy with you? No. Why do you want to know? What's going on? I'll call her then. Meet me at Smiling Jack's Diner. There's something you need to see. What's up? You need to see this. Fortunately, this exclusive footage has come to light. And with us live, the man responsible, Eddie Kilbane Pryor. Thanks for being here, Eddie. My pleasure, Jane. And please, call me Kilbane. Very well. Kilbane, there are some who claim you're a criminal. <laughs> no, no. Jane, my dear, please. The saints are criminals. Call me eccentric, but I'm just an entertainer slash businessman slash philanthropist slash... We get it. Where are they? No idea. They're broadcasting from an undisclosed location. Well, fucking disclose it. I might be able to triangulate where they're shooting if you go to the broadcast towers. And... We're on it. That asshole's gonna trash the Saints on air. He already is. I'm sitting with a man the wrestling community has called the Walking Apocalypse. Is such a moniker intended to frighten your fans as well as your foes? Not at all. It's an inspiration Fuck to all him. my fans. This guy's got a bigger ego than me. Above the meager existence of a mere man. And what about those that don't share that opinion? Some may call We're that here, Kinsey. What next? I sent you coordinates to several radio towers. Head to the first one and let me know when you've landed. Before the break, you mentioned the kids you've helped. Ah, uh, yes. Kilbane's Crunch Camp. <laughs> it's a two-month summer program that gets kids off the streets and into the ring. There's been some concern from parent groups. Well, that's because parents are put. Maybe they should focus on a real threat, like the Third Street Saints. Strong words. Kids fall down and get hit with steel chairs all the time. I'm just providing a safe environment for this to happen. Meanwhile, uh. parents of mine... There's Deckers up here. They probably use these antennas for the Decker you set. Not surprising they leave guards. Oh, thanks for the heads up. Use the transmitter I left under the seat. Place one next to the radio antenna, then head to the next tower. How many gadgets do you think Kenzie's got all over this city by now? Who cares, as long as she isn't bugging my bedroom. She wouldn't spy on her own people like that. You sure about that? Remind me to have my room checked when we get back. Make sure kill I'd like some help, please. Don't fuck with the Saints. Okay, that was impressive. over your match against your former partner, Angel de la Muerte. <laughs> People keep talking about a controversy when there isn't any. There can only be one legend. We fought. He lost. I won. 
If Angel de la Muerte was to come out of hiding, would you face him in a rematch? Without his mask, he's nothing. Less than nothing. The dirt under my boots gets more respect from me. To consider a rematch would mean admitting he's still worthy of my time. Let's hope he's not out there listening in. But to everyone else, we'll have more with Kilbane in just a moment. So where'd you get these transmitters anyway, Kenzie? It's safer you don't know. What does that even mean? Well, it probably means that it's safer if you don't know. Look, they work, that's all that matters. What are we gonna do about that video the press has? A PR department can take care of that, right? People think we blew up a landmark. I don't think it's that easy. Then what the hell do we pay him for? Covering up the small shit. Since when do we do small shit? All right, hooking this thing up. There, got it. Sending the coordinates of the van. Van? A broadcasting van. It's where the signal is being sent from. They're inside it? No! Use the laser signal tracker to help me find the broadcast location. The what? The light on the helicopter! Shine it on the van! Murder Brawl 31 is your upcoming wrestling event. What do you say to the accusations that it is just legalized killing? Well, it's entertainment for the masses, nothing more. But you admit people do get hurt. Oh, of course they do. I may be carved out of sacred marble, but occasionally a chip breaks off. I'm not going to Great. Cry about it. They're I'm running. Smooth. We must have spooked them. And what of those who've died at the event? Murder Brawl isn't for the weak. Jump on a grenade and you have to expect the blast to tear you to meaty blood-soaked pieces. There may be children listening. All oh, right, uh, uh, kids, uh, don't play with grenades and just blow your hands off. When we come back with Kilbane, we'll take a few calls from our listeners. <laughs> Nice work, Kenzie. Now let's rile him up. What are you gonna do? Okay, patching yourself through. Looks like we have a caller. You're on the air with Kilbane. What's your question? Listen, you fat piece of shit, you... I'm sorry. Do you have a question for me? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna come down there and tear your goddamn throat out. Uh, perhaps this has gone just a bit too far. I'm not sure that's a question either. It sounds more... This looks like the place. Clear him out quick and quiet. Quietly? Well, quiet-ish. Just can't fight. Where the hell is Kilbane? Bet that reporter knows. Let's ask. We gotta get through him first. I hope you had a good life.
Where the hell is Kilbane? Bet that reporter knows. You gotta get through him first. It's been a while. You look good. Where's Kilbane? He mentioned heading north. You're not after me about the interview, are you? Back to the chopper. We're going after Kilbane. Let's put a bullet in that son of a bitch. I'll get you above him. Just keep it steady so I get a shot. Make it count. It's not your fault. Something weird happened. Ah, shit. Deckers are a problem, Kinsey. I've been working on that. And what have you come up with? I'll run with you. Well, I guess you were bound to be here someday. What are you talking about? Come to my place. I'll show you what you're gonna need. Angered over Eddie Kilbane Pryor's exclusive interview, members of the Third Street Saints confronted several of his associates, gunning them down in an abandoned office building. Your very own, Jane Valderrama, ordered these now infamous killers to ask them their thoughts on the accusations of the self-proclaimed philanthropist. While the conversation was punctuated with guns waving threateningly, the message was clear. The Saints want to end Kilbane's life. The reasons behind this murderous intent did not come out, though the recent release of a video showing their involvement in the destruction of the Memorial Bridge in Stillwater may have sparked their ire. This is Jane Valorama, risking life and limb for you, Steelport.
Don't fuck with the Saints. You can hit the light. It's... homey. I don't see a bed. Sleep is forbidden. The fuck did the Deckers do to the chopper? Matt must have hacked into its flight computer and fried it with an EMP. You can do that? You can do a lot worse. If Matt gets the Decker Usenet plugged into its central power grid, it's... Trust me. It's bad. So how do we nail the Deckers? If I could worm into their mainframe, I'd do all sorts of naughty things. But I don't have the gear for that. What would you need? Something like this. That's one of the most powerful learning computers in North America. And Stag's got one. Thanks for the tip, Agent Kensington. Ah, damn it! Wait, that punk kid is Matt? <laughs> That punk kid is the cyber god who just crashed your helicopter. Cheers. These people are probably halfway to the computer by now. Go. Kenzie, where's the computer being held? At the Stag PR Center. Hurry! You lost to the best! So you and Shandy were beaten by a little punk like Mip. Beat? He crashed our fucking helicopter. That sounds like you lost to me. Put me in a room with Miller and we'll see who loses. Down, we'll get there. I don't want that little bastard beating me again. Don't worry, he won't. Kins is a little high strung, don't you think? She barely goes out and stares at that screen most of the time. I'm surprised she's still sane. You sure she still is? Looks like the Deckers started the party. Well, guess we're crashing then. Ah! Nice try. You better get in there before they take that thing. Saying to me, where's the computer? That's right!
You're set, right? Almost. I need a chair. I'll give you 50 bucks. Pick out a nice one. Funny. I'll explain it all once this thing's set up. <laughs> 